and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. I'm going to be going over the cheapest way to get the brand new Kindling currency, which you guys are probably wondering because there's plenty of things to use it on right now. Although, I think there might actually end up being more stuff coming out in the future of this promo because this promo should probably last up until the last day of the month. More than likely, typically when it lasts too. But for the time being, I'm going to go over the cheapest ways to get it and what you could currently use it on or my advice on if you should use it right now. So I went over all the training conversion values, or should I say the kindling values. I went over what their training conversion will be, as well as their current price of what they sell for, and their coins per. So I got everything ready for you guys based on what I've, my math has come out. So I got the whole sheet here. Some things in my eye bother me. Sorry, guys. And as you guys know, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. So all you got to do to enter this giveaway, as per usual, is go down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console. I want you to listen to your entrance win. So good luck with that. Now, if you guys already know the Kindling currency, I think the store has a picture of it, so I'll show it to you guys. It's in the top right corner, right there. And as you guys see right here, this is what it looks like. Now, this is the Kindling quick sell, which I think is used for one of the collections, which I'll get into as we go on. Sorry for the loud noise, just banging my elbow. So let's go check out the players that can be used uh, that I would recommend using to sell for Kindle current, uh, the Kindling currency. So let me show you all the values for the Kindling values that we're gonna have to be looking at. So the thing is, I've had to remake this video now. I think this is like my second or third time because every time I get the values right, I make the video and then they change. So this is the final, this is the final one, guys. Now, I think the market has settled a little bit more, so this should be a little more consistent this time. So I'm gonna do it for you guys on the calculator right here. Now, in my opinion, guys, the best thing you can do is memorize the formula I'm gonna give you to how, how to find the values because this is going to be constantly changing. So I'll probably point you in the right direction, but you're going to have to, I always recommend checking the math because one moment it could be 17K, the next time it could be 30K, you never know. So it's always good to check the math before. That is a snipe, I'm gonna buy that. I didn't get it, okay, so just, Point of advice, always check the math first before you do anything that you hear on YouTube because things are constantly changing. Now it's 14K. That is another snap. Why are they, what is, what's going on? I'm gonna average these at about 15K. So the prices keep changing on these. Now the 85 overalls sell for, I have the value on the side by the way, if you wonder why I'm looking to the left. They're selling for about 16K. So you take, they sell for 396 and they go for 16K. 16K, this is a formula by the way, you divide their price by their quick sell value. So 16K divided by 396 is about 40 coins per training. So that one's pretty good so far. Now it's heading up to the 86 overalls. Get out of Falcons, obviously. So that one's 40 coins per. That one's pretty good so far from what I've seen. So let's see the 86 overalls. 86s are going for around 24K. So 24K divided by 86, they go for five, I believe that's 597, 547. That's about 43 per. That one's again, not the best, but it's definitely close. Now 87s, where are the 87s sitting at? 87s are sitting at around, I believe these were just like 31k, 32, I'm gonna go with 32 to average it, so 32k divided by, they go for 760, they are 42 coins per, so far we're at 40, 43, 42, so 85 is looking pretty good right about now, although things are subject to change as per usual, now let's go up to the 88s, 89s, now Jonathan Jones is 45k, which is the 88s, 45k divided by their value, which is 1050, is going to give you a conversion rate of 42. So it's really looking like everything's been between 40 and 43 so far. So nothing really, nothing's a big of a difference. Now guys, the best advice I can give you here, don't sell things for the better conversion value if it's close, similar. So let's say you have 88 Jonathan Jones, or no, let's just say in general, actually no, that works, 88 Jonathan Jones, and he goes to 42 per, but you have the 80, but you wanna get the 85, so he's at 40 per. Here's the thing, selling Jonathan Jones, you're gonna lose about 6K reduction, so then if you go buy Demonte Kazis, the extra 6K you add on, you're actually gonna end up getting a worse value. And that works even more so with guys like CMC who are 300K. If you sell them to get a better value, you might actually lose more reduction. So always, if it's if it's within like three to four coins per, you don't have to sell, just sell whatever you got. If you But don't buy. If you have a chance to buy, always buy the best. But if you have it already, don't go out of your way to get another one. So let's go to the 89s. 89s are about 60, I'm gonna go with about 62K. So 62K on average divided by 1,460 is going to be 42. So again, 42, so far every option solid. If you have any of these options so far, feel free to sell them. Now, if you have to, if you have the choice and you get to pick which one you want, make sure you're picking the 85 so far, as that seems to be the best option. Now coming over to the 90s, Anthony Costanzo goes for 88, I'm gonna go with 89 just to be safe because the cheaper you go, they'll probably end up selling out. So he goes for, he's 90 over 2020 is the conversion rate value. 44 coins per, so he's actually not a good option. Even at 89K, if you get him for above 90, is even worse. 
Remember, any of these cards for a snipe, always buy them. Any of these cards on a snipe value is probably gonna be the best coins per. So if you see a snipe, don't wait, just take them. They're like five, if any of these cards are five to six K under what they sell for, they're probably one of the better conversion values to begin with anyways. Now 91 overalls. It does, I do not see a 91. So they go to 92 now, which is going to be Darius Leonard. So Darius Leonard before was the best value when he was 150. Now he's 185. His price is drastically changing. I'm gonna go 185 to be safe. Divide that by 386, 3860, which is his value. So he goes to 3,860. He's now 47 coins per, which is horrendous compared to the other ones. Darius Leonard is one of them that again you might have to you might lose reduction, but I don't think he's even close to the best value. He appears to be he's 47.9, so he's definitely really off. Darius Leonard was the best value about 30 minutes ago when I made the video, and of course it had to change, which is why this whole process had to change because of course the price has changed. Now, Derwin James. He quick sells for 5,350. And it goes for 248000. So 248,000. 248,000. Divided by 5350. 5350. And you get 46 coins per. Again, not the best, which is weird. Typically, the higher overall cards sometimes are the best values. But as of late, it appears a lot of the lower ones, especially this year, have been one of the better values. Now, coming over to the 94 95s, which is where you'll find CMC. CMC for 330. For 330. Let's see what that value overall is. Divided by he quick sells for 7430 kindling. 44 so he's actually within the range so cmc just like any other guy if you have him and you want kindling just sell him if you quick sell if you if you sell him off and you go off to go buy a bunch of 85 which is the best value so far you're gonna actually end up losing kindling as you end up losing 30k from McCaffrey, which ends up being more kindling than you're probably losing with the value being 44 he's within the range he's not the best option you have to pick still go with the 85s but definitely it is not worth selling him to go ahead and pick up another value so Bruce Smith, 500K, and his final value for the highest overall so far is 10,280. So that is going to be 48.6 coins per. So he's actually one of the worst ones as well. He actually might be the worst one, which is surprising. Sometimes the best ones or the highest overall ones are the best ones. But like I said, as it goes with this year, that has not been the case. So as a whole, it appears that the 85s are the winners with about 40 kindling per. If you get them for below 16K, they're going to fall into the 30-something range. Now... That Demonte Kazi, if he is about 13k like he was before, he was 32.8 per, but he did go up quite a bit when he skyrocketed to 17-16k. Skyrocket, you know, strong word, but 4k makes a big difference when you're buying that many increments of it. Kindling, what should you be doing with it once you actually get it? Now, come over to the store, because that's probably where you're focusing on your kindling. That's probably where you're going to be spending the kindling, the only place you really could. Now, if you plan to do that collection that I showed you guys in the, uh, the content video today going over the kindling quick sale collection where it's like the secret unmelted player you could put 100 into there i personally don't know what you get from it so i'm sure you guys have a collection so you guys have an idea what i'm talking about but if you guys want to go test test the test the waters with that if it's worth it, if you've heard anything about it you could go do that so it's the hearth right here place frozen players at the warning stones the warming stones of the hearth then stoke the flames with 100 kindling to the frost and find out who's inside so you pretty much got to get a frozen player collectible i do not know how you get that yet you probably get it from hearth packs if you get lucky or solo challenges and then you can go ahead and put the 100 kindling quick sell you bought from there. So you could spend 100 there. Not exactly a lot of kindling anyways. So it's not exactly that bad. But now back to the store to tell you what I recommend buying. So I, I, have, I have multiple methods. Secret word for today's video is gift. Comment down below the word gift. Like the video. Comment your console. And subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of the vid. Dear, so like two to three things that I'd recommend you really want to focus on here. Now... You can spend it on 78 pluses. So 78 pluses are for you gamblers. If you're a gambler, you like to risk it all. You really like to take your chances to see what you can potentially pull. This is for you guys. These are for the gamblers that love to take the chances. See, I've seen quite a few tweets where people are pulling Christian McCaffrey out of here. They're pulling Derrick Leonard. They're pulling Darren James. I'm not that risky because again, you could easily get five of these, spend a thousand kindling plus actually, like a thousand, like 300 kindling and end up with three, seven, uh, what's it called? Four to five, 78 overall players. And then you lose a ton of coins it's very possible i've seen it happen plenty of times so i'm not one to take a risk when it comes to these specific packs but if that's you you can go with that i don't recommend it but you can now the 85 plus now this one's a little bit more um i'd say safe see this one you could end up getting 593 992s but that's so unlikely if you take this one at least you know you're getting 85 plus now to make coins back on this though as you guys can see darius leonard did quick sell for 38 uh, 60. i'd imagine that 85s Let's actually go check my binder real quick. I have an 87 sitting there. I want to let you guys know what it would take to actually make profit back on that one. I probably wouldn't recommend those either. Those are typically not the best ones either. Let's go to the newest. I did pull Sam Hubbard before. Not him. Sam Hubbard, 87 goes for 760. So I'd imagine that you have to pull an 89 plus zero chill card just to make your money back on that pack. So 89 plus is going to be kind of, kind of rare. Let's see if there's any odds on this. That'd be pretty cool if there were. 
There's not. But you're gonna need like an 89 plus just to make your, your kindling back. Is what I'm getting from no. 88 probably breaks even 89 probably breaks even or 88 breaks even. It's gonna be around that range. You're gonna need above an 88. In my opinion, above an 88. Above an 88, and you're making kindling back. I don't think it's that worthwhile. I think it's definitely gonna be a very risky pack. For you guys who have the luck and you guys always feel it, your gamblers, go ahead, go for it. Now, the best things probably here, if you want, if you want safe value, right? Then there's people like me where I have a I have the kindling, I don't want to risk it. Get your 92 to 94 overall chill player. Convert the kindling back to coins. Now, I wouldn't buy kindling to do this because if you just think about it, if you, if you buy McCaffrey for 7,000, this is a this is all school risky. So, I mean, you could re-roll. If you buy McCaffrey for 7,430 and then you come back and you open this once and you pull McCaffrey again, you actually do make kindling. If you pull James, you break just about even, you lose a little bit. If you pull, if you pull James or Leonard, you're losing. You have to pretty much pull Calf or Bruce... Uh, Smith, I don't know if you could pull Bruce Smith from this, but that'd be pretty much what you have to do. Actually, you can't because it's 94, so no, you cannot pull Bruce Smith. So pretty much, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, the only way I'd recommend this is if you have a bunch of kindling from solos, from house rules, from the game, and you're like, I got about 5,850, I just want my coins, I want to cash out. You go here, you go into your players, you're cool with it. Now, you can also do the presents. Now, here's the thing with the presents right now. Small gifts aren't, there's not a bunch of them, there's one small gift. You open the small gift, you will get that red present every time. So don't keep opening them thinking that you're rolling them, see what you can get, you can't. Now, medium gift, same thing. I believe there's only one medium gift, so don't keep opening them thinking that there's more because you cannot again. Now, large gifts, there are quite a few. There's between, I'm, I think, like six to ten. Somewhere between that, I don't know if it's seven or eight. There's a, there's a little bit, probably closer to seven or eight. So these actually do vary. Now, we do not know if they will be introducing more presents. I imagine they will be probably introducing more presents. So my best, my best advice I can give to you guys, more than likely, is just I would hold your kindling for now. I'd stockpile kindling. Those are what you could spend it on, but I'd stockpile. My personal plan of attack is to stockpile kindling for a few days. Here's some watching a streams. Here's some EA news. Here's some YouTube news. See what people are thinking. The consensus is here. At the moment, I think there has to be more. I don't think this is it. We might get a Blitz promo that might use kindling, and then again, maybe the Blitz will be more useful if they have like a Redux pack for 500 kindling, 1,000 kindling. There could be a lot of good things coming from a Blitz if they do drop it. Because last year, I told you guys the way I made all those coins, 10 million coins, was by stockpiling my snowflakes and using them for the Blitz. And I made tons of coins, so I'd recommend. You could you could get some gifts. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably get like one of each gift, and then from there I'll probably end up stockpiling uh, kindling because the kindling here, 4,170 is pretty much buying Derwin James. Now McCaffrey can almost get you two of these, almost. So McCaffrey plus some house rules will get you two of these. Now so that pretty much values these at about like I'd say about 180k per large present, which isn't horrible, but we don't know what we're gonna get. Now considering that everyone could just pay, buy them just how they are we don't know the rarity of them yet so i'd recommend you just wait wait a little bit so we know stockpile some kindling i think that's pretty much my plan of attack so you guys already know the cheapest things to do and by the way their training conversion just so you guys know at the end of each series these cards will convert i mean the end of the promo these cards will convert back to a training value so christian mccaffrey wouldn't go for his regular training value of 94. now sometimes there's a profit to be made like last year ed reed was going for for uh 380k but in all 95 over all 96 overalls went for 550 600 so I, I was smart i bought a bunch of ed reeds and saved on my ed reeds and when the promo dial went off i resold them for 600k because his training value skyrocketed and back up because the snowflake value had him at 380 his training value had him at 600. now so far i see no potential for that because mccaffrey goes for 320 and so does jim brown and deacon jones so 94s are kind of there already this would only work if i see chris mccaffrey like at 250 then there'd be a value there but for the time being there's not so we'll stay tuned on that i'll have more videos for you guys regarding that but that's about it guys thank you so much for watching remember 25 days of prudence like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below the secret word and your console and once you do all the things you're interested to win good luck see you guys in the next video peace